Hey everyone, welcome back to a video. I'm so glad you're here. We're going to do a jewelry jar. It's been a quite a while that I've done a jewelry jar, maybe a week or two. I don't remember, but it feels like it's been a long time and I thought I'd come face to face so I could wish you guys a Merry Christmas, Happy New Year and all that good stuff. I hope you're enjoying your time with your family and um, I hope you're enjoying the season and all that it offers. I thought I would do a quick, well, it's not going to be quick because it is a huge heavy one, though it was only $30, which I kind of find hard to believe. I did leave two of these behind at a thrift store yesterday. They wanted $59 and $69, and I really didn't see that they were even heavy or that they could possibly have metal, you know, which is kind of what I look for. I don't know why, because I guess because I think the beads might be more lightweight or something, but uh, I left them behind. I'm, I still have quite a few of them behind me that I can open, so I didn't want to be hoarding more and more and then really you know that was a lot of money 69 and 59 dollars is a lot of money without a discount and it was late in the afternoon so i was kind of you know again with that silent protest of mine that i've talked to you about where i kind of stave off paying some of those prices i think it helps in my opinion it does that they come to realize, hey, they're not moving. I know it did with my other thrift store because they were doing a lot of these 59, 89 even. Then they started making a little bit more mediocre, not mediocre, but medium sized bags. And they were doing them at 25 to 29. They have not done anything over $29 recently. So I'm hoping it works the same way with this other one. How do you guys like my Christmas shirt? Isn't it the cutest sweater ever? I just thrifted it. It's Ralph Lauren. I love it. I absolutely love it. It's 100% cotton. So I was so afraid it would shrink on me, but washed it pretty carefully. Washed it pretty carefully, uh, laid it out flat to dry and all that good stuff because I just fell in love with this Scotty. I think I told you guys that I used to go to a Catholic school, went through all the way through 10th grade, all the way through 10th grade. Then we moved and we went to public school. And uh, our mascot was Scotty. So I'm always, I think it's a Scotty. Maybe it's a West. You guys, you tell me. I don't know. I get them confused. Let me see who's in the chat before we start. Hey, Doug, how are you? Merry Christmas. Hi, Ruth. Merry Christmas to everyone out there. And Bad Omaji is there, too. And Kimberly Pike. I brewed up some French press coffee today, guys. I have this, uh, what do you call it? A uh, um, copper teapot, I guess, or pot and it's so funny because I wanted to sell that pot I bought it it has a prettiest little goose snack it looks vintage it's kind of hammered around and banged around you can tell but it's just so fabulous it's so quick on the boiling I'm boiling my water and now it just looks so quaint on my stove too that I don't want to get rid of it have you guys ever ran into that where you don't you find something that you want to other than jewelry, you find something that you probably want to thrift and you wind up not. Let me see. Here. Hi, Maria. See, how are you? It's 730 over there. Are you in the, um, where are you? You're in California or something over in the north west or something? North coast? I woke up pretty early today, too. Oh, my goodness. Another Anne Klein earring. These are so cute. I just found some of the, I hope I got the other one though. I just found some the other day, but they were kind of a post. Like they had the little post part first and then you had to put the back of them on, which maybe would make them more heavy. I don't know. This is really nice. I love this logo. I may just put those on if I find the other one. I really love that logo. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's pretty early over there. I woke up about seven o'clock and Woke up and uh, decided I need to do a video and some baking and get to the post office. They are open all day, though, today, so that's good. I want to get out my auction sales today, if I possibly can, so people can get them when they want them. But I decided it's been a while since I've done a jewelry jar, and I wanted to come face-to-face -face and just see you guys. Hey, NOLA Collectibles, how are you? Merry Christmas. This is a big bag, guys, $30 bag. No discount, I believe, on this one. I haven't been lucky enough to find them when they have discounts because it's one day a week now, guys, Wednesdays. And if I go during lunch, I'll, I'll be late with getting back to work. 
and um, can't do that. So, because it's so crowded, people really go on that day. Oh, look, here's some reindeer earrings. Those are cute. I'm gonna put up. I'm gonna put aside the earrings till I match them up. I hope this is not an all earring lot. That's what we did last time. We did a lot of earrings. These are really cute, though. These are matched up already. They're just little kind of, oh, they're pretty. I'm surprised these aren't uh, stamped. Let me check. Hey, Swamp Picker, Merry Christmas. Oh, they are stamped. Okay, Leah Sophia. These are pretty. They're clips. They're kind of sculptural. And we do have a match on those. We put the matchy ones in there. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to bake some fudge. I'm going to make a cobbler, but I'm not going to make that till tomorrow with dinner. Peach cobbler. What are you guys making? Any special recipes? Are you looking forward to any special recipes that people make? It's so funny. Christmas really changes for us, right? It definitely changes as we get older. I remember we used to go to my grandparents' house and we could not walk in the door. We could not walk in the door because their tree was right there by the door and it was flooded with, with presents. We would all buy each other presents. It was so, I mean, I guess we could afford it back then, right? Maybe, I don't know. But my aunts would all buy us. My cousins would all buy each other. Then it got to where we started picking names. It got so, <laughs> I guess it got more expensive. But I remember walking into my grandparents' house and we literally had to like tiptoe around the presents because there were so many presents. And now, you know, it's just about buying the grandkids presents for me and my daughters of course I'll buy them something and everything but my husband and I really don't worry too much about buying each other presents uh, we've had a lot of hits and misses and and we just kind of like you know we know we just buy what we want anyway this is a really cute frozen pendant I think my daughter's into into frozen so I'm gonna have to put that on a chain for her my granddaughter isn't that cute it's very well made it's even signed in the back Disney frozen all right, more of that earring stuff. We got some Mardi Gras looking beads. A little better than Mardi Gras. They're black, but um, we just kind of strung together there. Thank you guys for coming in so early in the morning and hitting that thumbs up. Looks like 32 people are here. Sandra Hurt, how are you? Merry Christmas. Morning, Jude. How are you? I hope you're doing well. We we're just talking about how Christmas has changed for a lot of us. This is super, super cute. The wheels move. This looks like a Betsy Johnson or something. And how we used to go out of town. It is a Betsy Johnson. Um, to both my grandparents' houses, and they were far. But we'd walk into my, and both grandparents, actually, they, everyone would just buy presents for each other. Aunts would buy for aunts and sisters and kids, and it was like you couldn't even move. Look at this beautiful Betsy Johnson, guys. It's all black, metal, enameled, and then the wheels actually turn on this little bike. That is the sweetest necklace. I like that. I may just get my $29 back on this necklace. Isn't that cute? Oh, you're welcome. You're welcome, Miss Jude. I saw those items and I was, I'm always looking at things, you know, and, and thinking of, of my subscribers and friends. And um, I had to pick those up for you. So I'm glad you like them. Good morning, Kathleen. How are you? Merry Christmas. Oh, this looks interesting. I almost thought it was gold, but it's got a little silvery thing there. Nails still haven't been done. I vowed I was going to get red nail polish. And I haven't gone to Walgreens to get my red nail polish, so I'm still <sighs> got some hideous pink on. I mean, it's pretty, but it's chipping. So excuse my nails. And then uh, my son usually comes. They, they switch around. They come to our house or they go to her parents' grandparents in Buffalo, New York. But uh, my um, daughter-in-law is traveling this season. She's actually going out to Germany on business right after Christmas, so they came for Thanksgiving instead. But my grandson who lives here is going to be here, so that's gonna be fun. And I'll be baking lots of goodies for him. Uh, get, I think this is like a little prayer strand here, guys. Very interesting. The 
Oh, I sure will. I sure will, Maria. It's so good. It's just it's just that one teaspoon that you add to your uh, fudge recipe, but I will definitely post it. I'll probably put it in the community tab as soon as I get a chance. So this was in here, guys. Very interesting wood beads. They are carved. There's even some ivory looking ones, maybe white bone or something. I'm not sure. And um, some ribbons. There's some turquoise looking things here at the ends. I don't know if they're real turquoise. They actually do look like Lorimar more than turquoise. Let me let you look at that. So that was an interesting little bag. Are you really, Jude? <laughs> That's so funny. I've been trying to get to Starbucks too, Jude, but maybe I'll wait till day after, or maybe even today. They may have already put them on sale. I wanted to go in there and get the new mug, the new Christmas mug. I found one yesterday at the thrift store right before I broke something, and I felt so bad about that. I had to wind up telling them again they wouldn't clean it up. And no, I was not going to get down there and clean it up myself. I have cut myself so many times picking up glass. And I came home and I broke something here at home too. So I'm hoping it's not an omen. I said, no, it's not an omen. <laughs> Broken glass. You never know. It might mean something good, right? Don't the Greeks break glasses at weddings, break plates? But anyway, I oh, and I want to buy an ornament. My daughter collects the Starbucks ornaments. And I think she got one for this year, but I want to get one for me. I've never had one. It's a little charm, a little heart. It just has um, like little stones around it, maybe crystals. No, no marking on it. I'm in love with the Betsy Johnson. Oh, my husband brought down some of the stuff he repaired yesterday. And in it was a James Avery chain that I hadn't even known it was there. He said it was tangled up with a whole bunch of them. Here's a cute little heart. Uh, post earring and then he finally fixed this little thing the mirror was messed up it's some little uh, snowman skating and I will give this away today who likes uh, Christmas brooches besides Jude <laughs> and me <laughs> I haven't even worn a Christmas brooch this year I feel so derelict here's a little post I don't know why I've been so busy just collecting them and buying them and selling them and I haven't even worn any I feel so bad so I put one on today. It's a really nice one. It's a mirror with two little snowmen. I think they're skating on it. Got some pink beads. Hi, Kathleen Martin. How are you? This is pretty nice. It's got an extender. It's really a pretty color. It's not a hot, hot pink. It's a nice pink. It really is. And I like the little different acrylics shape beads there. So that's cute. Oh, look at this, guys. This looks like um, carnelian or something, but it's acrylic. It's got a mark on it. It looks like it says Express. What a pretty color. It does. You know what? Express had some nice jewelry. I, I regret never shopping there. No, they're closed now. <laughs> Is he really? <laughs> He's so cute. Kathleen, I saw his pictures, and I think on Instagram, he's a doll. Hi, Laura. Merry Christmas. This is a nice necklace. I like it a lot. It's acrylic, but it's super cute. Oh, here's a little spectator-looking one. I call this spectator. I don't know why. Next time I see navy and white together. These are definitely little vintage pieces, but they're nice. And... Um, Let's see what else we have here. What in the world is this made out of? Look, it's like felt in the back. Super lightweight, but interesting collar. Isn't that interesting? It feels funny too. It feels like the skin of a of a pepper or a veggie or something. I don't know. Wow. That's interesting. Oh, a little angel. Let's see if it's not an Avery. I don't think Avery makes stick pins, but it's it's looks like. No, it's a JJ. Really cute. Like that. You have a collection of Christmas brooches. Yeah, I had a bigger collection, but I've sold a lot of them, and that's fine. 
This is an interesting necklace, guys. It's cold, so I think it's some kind of natural stone. I don't see a lot of banding, but it could be malachite. It's definitely a, a nice, cold, I think, natural stone. Yes, I have had, oh my God, my, my collection ebbs and flows for sure. I had a huge red box. You may be able to see it over there. It's a Godiva velvet box, really deep, like a three-layer deep. I think that's the last Christmas gift my husband gave me. I'm not sure. That's usually what he brings me, Godiva chocolates. And um, I had that one full with brooches, and then I've sold some, and then I add more. And... But anyway, okay, here's a nice stone, too. This is a pendant. I don't recognize it. Orange. Kind of cream matrix in there. Thank you so much for hitting that thumbs up. Okay, we got a little few pieces, remnants here and there. We have some beads that are, I forget the proper term. People are correcting me constantly, but I, memory does not serve me these days. But it's those little rolled up beads for out of paper. They're really cute. Some of them are really pretty. Oh, you did? On Facebook, the Santa holder yet. Oh, what is the Santa holder? All right, I've got a feather here. Some people hate feathers. It's tangled with something, though. More little earrings. We have a Chanel post. I'm sure it's fake. And uh, more, let me see. I'm going to put all the earrings aside, and then I'll show them to you if we match them up. Or at least the interesting ones. This one's interesting. I like that one. Oh, these are cute. A concho with some turquoise colored crystal beads on there. Let's see. Thanks guys for hitting that thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, we do a lot of jewelry hauls and jewelry unjarrings here. So if you enjoy that kind of content, be sure and hit the thumbs up. So other than the fudge, anybody else making anything else? What's your must have? I really don't have a must have except for the rib roast. I started making that about, I don't know, about five or six years ago from that Contessa What's her name? The Contessa Gurton or Anna? I don't. I forget. She was on on the Food Network. But uh, if you Google it, she has an amazing rib roast. Sunday rib roast is the title of it, and then she gives you the recipe for the horseradish sauce and everything is so so good. So that's what I make. Okay, this is all acrylic, just a little short necklace, and then I'll just make some vegetables and potatoes or something to go with that. Ooh, this is pretty. This is a really nice gold leather roping around it. And kind of a heavy bead there. Feels like ceramic or something, kind of burgundy. That's pretty. Oh, thank you, Jude. Thank you. I was, uh, I bought something home yesterday. I bought another Starbucks mug. And before I went out there, I took one of the things and, and redonated it, which was that little white ceramic looking um, angel. She was really cute. And you could see I you could see that I had left the price tag on it when I was doing the tour. <laughs> Go back and watch it. But they put like 20 price tags at the Goodwill. And I left that one on there. But anyway, I don't know what happened to it. It was singing very nicely. And then all of a sudden it started spinning really fast. It's a hairband or something. So I redonated it. Redonated it to the Goodwill. I think I had bought it at another Goodwill. So, and I'm, I think I may, on the way to the post office or on the way back, I may stop at the Salvation Army because I have not hit up my Salvation Army for Christmas. And they usually have a lot of vintage things. Okay, guys, I don't know if this even goes in here. It's tangle. No, it's part of the necklace. But this has to be an earring. It looks like an earring. 
No, it's part of the necklace too. Okay, somebody just got really crafty, guys. Put a feather. This looks like those earrings that I run into quite a bit, but it's all in there. Barefoot Contessa, that's her name. Uh, what is her name? Gerd Gardner, is that her last name? Anyway, her recipe is amazing. I love it. What else have I made from her? Oh, I've made her shrimp. Uh, I think it's baked, spicy baked sh shrimp or something. It is shrimp cocktail. Yeah, that's it. It's shrimp cocktail, but it's baked. Oh, it's so good. That's another one of her recipes. I, love. I have one of her books, but I used to love her show. All right, we got some really cute gold hoops. I think they're just gold tone, but they're a really nice size. Do I have earrings on? Yeah, I do. I hope I find that that um, Leo, I mean, that lion. That's a cute earring. Here's a Mickey key. It's like a skeleton key, but it's got Mickey Mouse ears. Cute. Yeah, that's another recipe I love from her. Here's a very nice one. It looks like a natural stone on that earring. Uh, here's a piece of shell. Looks like it fell off of an earring or something. You eat grilled ribeyes. Ooh, that sounds so good. And a huge breakfast at my dad's. The cinnamon rolls, yeah. Oh, I once made some cinnamon rolls, and I cannot find that recipe. And that was a Martha Stewart recipe. It was in a magazine, and it was the best I ever, ever made. And at the time, my son was a vegetarian, and he couldn't eat them. And I kind of just kind of, how do you say it, took the wind, took the wind out of my sails. <laughs> I was, like, so disappointed because he said it was made with uh, bone or something. You know, the, the jelly that goes on it, the, I think it took, is it jello? Gelatin, the gelatin mix or something. This is nice. This is um, like a terracotta. And so he couldn't eat them, but they were so amazing. They were so good. I need to find that recipe again. It was in a magazine though. Sometimes you can't find this, the ones that you, you know, you really should cut them out. And I'm having to, actually, I made a lot of good recipes for Thanksgiving. Good job. And um, I'm having, I really should print them out or write them down because then I can't find the video. I think I liked some of them, but some of them I didn't. And if you don't like them, they don't get saved. So start saving your <laughs> recipes. This is an interesting necklace, guys. But there's an earring tangled up. There it is. Look at that. These are interesting beads. Is it fuzzy? Oh. Not fuzzy there. <laughs> oh, no, I haven't started drinking yet either. We used to do tamales too and on Christmas Eve at my sister's. But my mother is, is uh, not up to making tamales these days. And then when her daughter passed, it just kind of changed that ritual. It was not, it was not the same. So, like I was saying, Christmas changes for a lot of people, right? This is pretty. This is long, which is very unusual for, you know, it's like a collar, but it's long. So it fit like right there. I've never seen one do that. Yeah, definitely. What's your favorite drink at Christmas? I don't really have a favorite. I usually just do red wine. This is pretty. These are amethyst and some kind of crystal. I think clear quartz and definitely amethyst stones in there. So that's not bad. Oh, I didn't know you did a decoration video, Jude. I don't know why I didn't get a notification. I need to go look at it. I can just imagine. Look at this. I don't know what am I dropping? My earrings are falling. Everything. Okay. This. This is a huge, beautiful piece. Look at that. Oh, on Facebook. Well, you should have done a video too. I'll have to go look at it on Facebook then. Did you put it on just on your Facebook then? I need to. I need to 
lurk over on Facebook a little bit more then. All right, more. This is a charm of some sort. Put that over here. Oh, these are pretty. These are really nice. Again, we haven't found matches on the really nice ones. Look at that. It's a pretty bead. Bead work there. Oh, coffee with a shot of rum. A shot of yum. <laughs> that sounds get good too. My my sister used to make the Bailey's Irish coffee. That's good. Hey Lori, Merry Christmas. Oh, we got some Christmas stuff. Christmas jewelry. And this one is battery operated, but it obviously needs a I used to have a few of these. So they light up when you put it is lighting up, isn't it? I can't tell. Yeah, I think it is. Hit or miss here. I think some of them are lighting. I don't know. Might need a fresh battery in here. So cute. It's a little strand of Christmas lights necklace. Okay. Oh, this is pretty. A little enamel thing. Kind of tangled because it's like three strands of beads. They're in there. It's Chico's, of course. Chico's makes really nice jewelry. Let's see, who else, see who else joined me here. Mary Harris, how are you? Merry Christmas to everyone who's coming in, guys. Michelle O, how are you? I think I said hello to everyone else. If I didn't, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to not see you there. Yeah, the, the necklaces, they're so cute. They used to make the big ones, too. The life size. Oh, these are pretty. Very nice. These are clip. Teeny little clips. And they're anchors. Nautical. Cute. More nautical. People were into the nautical. Oh, these are pretty and they're matched. They're pink. They look like little crystals, too. They, they don't feel like acrylic. They're cold. Hot pink. A tequila di ditzy. Ooh. What was that? Oh, I was thinking of getting some vodka to put into. Oh, Bloody Marys. That's what I need to do. I need to go get me some Bloody Mary mix. Make me some. Or a recipe. I don't think I've ever made them. My son took me to a brunch place in Chicago. Oh, I forgot the name of it. But it was so good. It's like a little English pub looking thing. And the Bloody Marys were amazing. I do love Bloody Marys. Good breakfast, right? All right, this is cute. This is really pretty. It's like a faux opal or something there. Nice crystals on it as well. Kind of the dark AB. Oh, she did? Was Sandy on last night? Why have I not been getting notifications? For so many videos, this is super, super cute. I like this a lot. I'm really into it. I'm not going to wear anything else, though. I'm not even sure if I want to wear this brooch because this Scotty is so cute. And Jude, is that a Scotty or a Westie? I can't tell. Jude has Westie, so she knows. <gasps> this one's beautiful. Oh, my gosh. I hope I find it. Oh, I hope I find the match. Abalone, guys. And look at the carving like a shell. Oh, my gosh. That's a beautiful earring. Good morning, Yvonne. How are you? Merry Christmas. How's the weather over in Colorado Springs? Did you get some snow? We're actually at 40, but yesterday we were at 70. So I was so happy to be able to wear a sweater. I love uh, all the beautiful sweaters I see at the Goodwill, and I resist buying them because I can wear them once. Once a year. <laughs> or when I go to Chicago. Cindy was online from Florida. Oh, okay. 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 Here we go. Another pretty one. It's acrylic, but I love the color on it. It's a cute color. Just little chains on this one. Oh, I hope I find that abalone shell. Let me put it over here so I don't think oh think that I find it and then I don't. 
Is it beat? All right, let's put the shells away. Here's a broken uh, snowflake. I love that. What am I dropping? Shell. These are super cute. I love the tassels. I wash them. They fluff up nice. White Scotties and black Westies, which gets really confusing, but Scotties have a long rectangular nose where Westies have a rounder face. So what's this one? Westie, right? I love his sweater. I, I uh, This is that black. What is this plaid called? Black Watch, I think it's called. I love that. And if you're ever finding those thrifters out there, guys, those resellers, anything Ralph Lauren with the black watch, black watch plaid is money. I've sold their, his purses and sweaters for lots of money with that plaid. But I found one last night. It's a little sweatshirt. And I found um, for my, he doesn't watch my videos anyway. <laughs> but I found it at Macy's for my son-in-law. And it's so cute. And I was kept showing pictures of it to my daughter, but she must. She didn't get the picture, but I was thinking if he doesn't like it and wants to return it, I want it. I love black watch. I think it's called black watch plaid. This is cute. It's acrylic. Thank you. Westy. Okay. That's what I thought. But see, I was talking about Scotty's also because that was my mascot at school. Okay. We got that one already. We got some shells, but these are short choker size beads. We got a snowman here. He is so cute. He's an earring. I hope we find him as well. That's a cute one. Really cute. And we got some more of these beads, but I think we got a match on these. I showed you these a minute ago, so I think I do have two of those. One of these fell on the floor, so I do have a match on. These are pretty pink rhinestones. Definitely got a match on that one. Yeah, here are these. Those are cute. I love the beaded stuff. Oh, I know, I know. Thank you, Jude. Me too. Yeah, he was able to fix it up, and it's so cute. I don't know what song it plays, but it's such a cute little thing. But I am retiring. Also, another thing I'm retiring from my display is that little nativity that's made out of plush that I told you my dog got the best of. I think I'm going to retire it this year. I think I'm going to donate it. We did get a match on these because it's just too much, too much. <laughs> Plus, I have my eyes on the peanuts. Have you guys seen? I know peanuts does one every year. A little, not more Christmas jewelry. Uh, but I think they're different because I've seen different ones on eBay and I saw the one for this year and I'm waiting for to see if it goes on sale. They told me over here at my local Hallmark, they have quite a few. We did get a match on these. Awesome. It's the Peanuts um, Charlie Brown Christmas Nativity. It is so sweet and you get like an, an initial one for $50 and then you can add to it with the other characters. And then on the little pedestals where they sit where they're all at the play it has all of the little um bible verses that they actually recite in that so it's so precious this is a pretty earring guys look at that for christmas hope we get another one so that's i think i'm gonna get you know you know what they say i mean i guess you can never have enough but i'm gonna retire the other one and i'm gonna try to buy that peanut one and that way I'll have that one as kind of the main one. Because I that other one used to be my main one all the time. What an interesting pendant, guys. It's very heavy glass. Maybe it's spinel. I don't know. I have to look at it. Look at it under a loop. But it's draped in chains. Kind of cool. Yeah, it is kind of cute, isn't it? I'll see. Maybe if I can embroider the eye in. Ah. Uh. I really do like it, but it's just that I have to keep it high because the dog will find it every year. I used to keep it on my coffee table. He jumps on the coffee table to get it. Then I'll find Joseph over in his bed. This is a cute little earring. Or Mary or somebody. I think he even got to baby Jesus. This is interesting. This looks like sterling. It might be. Let's check it out. Simply Vera or a knockoff. This is definitely sterling, guys. It's got that. Telltale patina all over it. And this actually looks like either jet. It's got a lot of like um, 
almost looks like spotting on it. Can you guys see it? I don't know if it just needs to be cleaned. And I don't know what the top stone is. Could it be a moonstone? Possibly a moonstone. Oh, those nails are atrocious. Oh, okay. It's really pretty. It's a real stone. All right. I don't know if we got two of the, um, put the matches over here. I'm trying to find a match for the snowman. Oh, these are pretty. Look at these pretty butterfly earrings. I love the um, pointed wings on that. That's so cute. So, yeah, I have my eyes on that. I saw it the other day. Oh, we do get a match on the butterflies. When we went to, I went to buy some Hallmark uh, ornaments for my grandkids that I wanted to send them. Found a really cute Daniel Tiger one and another one with a kitty plane because they have two cats that, oh my gosh, they are just the craziest cats. And I saw that peanuts and I fell in love with it. These are cute earrings, guys. They are really pretty. Filigree. I'm sure they're probably just silver tone, but they're so cute. And then I was like, oh, I don't want to spend fifty dollars on it. I'll wait and see if it goes on sale. And the lady said, I don't know if it's going to go on sale. But then this lady said, Oh yeah, it's going to go on sale. I said, Do you have plenty of them? She said, I do. I have a lot of the new ones of the main set. She said she only had one of the additional characters, and each additional character I think is thirty dollars. You get like four. But it is so cute. Okay, here's a little strand of metal. Gold and silver tone. I guess it's, oh, it's pretty long. You could probably twist it like three times. Thanks, guys, for being here. Be sure and hit that thumbs up as you walk in the door. That's a cute one there. These are nice, too. Crystal. Chandelier. Pretty earrings. Very nice. I'm putting these aside if I don't find their mate yet. An old expandable bracelet, black, silver stuff. Here's a coral one with a shell. This is pretty though. It's got a mark on it, I think. No. Oh, Cold Water Creek. This is pretty. What pretty colors? Pink and orange. Colors of India. I read somewhere pink and orange are the national colors of India. <laughs> Isn't that pretty? I love the butterfly earrings too. What a beautiful necklace. That is super cute. Okay. What else do we have here? Oh my goodness. I have some rose quartz tangled up in here in a uh, illusion necklace. No, no, the rose quartz is on the other one. Okay, good. And this one's actually broken, so I may just sacrifice it. Look. They're, they're real pearls, though, so that'll probably go in a beadlock. Those are real tiny little pink pearls. They're so cute. Hi, Iris Witch. Merry Christmas. Thanks for being here, Ardina. Ardena Kite, thank you for being here. Merry Christmas. And Sharon Bolte, same to you. Thank you so much. This is nice for a beadlock. And here is this with some rose quartz. At least that's what it looks like to me. Definitely cold. And it's some charms at the bottom. Oh, I have to show you this beautiful bracelet I got from Cindy Loving. It's so pretty. It's 925. You guys see that? I just wore it yesterday. I got it like two months ago or a month ago. I love it. I thought it looked very Christmassy too. Little stones. And uh, I think she was even thinking they might be emerald beads. They sure look like it too. All right, so that's cute. Lots of little charms dangling there. Let me see what else is here. We got a big blue. What a pretty blue. I love this powder blue color. It's really cute. Okay. 
that prayer bead thing we got was interesting too, wasn't it? Okay, these are a little loose. I think there's some kind of clay bead and they're tangled, but they're really interesting. Green, orangey color. And then they have wood findings there. That's interesting. Oh, here is a net. Oh my goodness. They see I told you they were coming apart. Whoa, the beads just came all apart from this tray. I have to sweep my floor in a minute. Wow. Did you hear that? <laughs> They're all over the place. Oh my goodness. Whew. Oh well. That happens. Okay. Silver chains galore here. An array. That's cute. They're in good shape, too. So we have a curb, chain, rollo chains, all in one. I think it is five. Yeah, five chains all together. On that. Here's a, oh, these are cute. I still haven't found the abalone. Oh, I want those earrings. This is a nice earring, guys. Look at that. That's one earring. That's big. My daughter will love these. <laughs> she will wear these. I may even wear them too. They're pretty. They have fluted beads. They have uh, caged beads. The gold is still really nice and pretty. So I like that. Okay. I woke up cutting my hair too. So if it looks funny, It'll straighten itself out later, I hope. These are super cute. Orange, yellow enamel, and then a red bead there. That's a cute hoop. Really cute. Here's a pretty one, too. I think I've seen this earring before. Or maybe in another color. That's a shiny, bright thing. Very nice. But again, let's see if we get a match, right? It's a big, long, gold one, too. We have a, oh, how cute is this? Polymer clay brooch. Little soldier there. Cute. He's cute. It's another Christmas edition there. Let's see what else. Oh, these are cute. These are vintage, guys. Look at this. Mesh, copper, and black on a little twist back earring. That's interesting. Yeah, those are cute. Okay, here we have some 70s. Yay. Yay. Coral. He, she. Yes. Genuine. Yes. Oh, I love it. Look at that. 1970s. Oh, this is cool. Coral and turquoise. Look at that pretty turquoise, like a powder blue or a sleeping beauty, maybe. Oh my goodness, that is super cute. And it's sterling findings. You can tell by the patina. Nice. With the he she be as well. We got some crazy trolls today. Whew, okay. These are cute too, look. Snake skin. And I think these are probably the inter interchangeable kind. But that's a really pretty olive color. Hoop. Cute. And here's some silvery looking ones. Silver tone. They are matched though. Gold and silver there. Let me see. Oh, I think we got a match on these. Little chandelier looking one. So that's good with the crystal. Or is there, oh, it's broken though. No, no, no. They're just tangled up. Okay. I thought they were broken. No, nope, they're complete. So I'm happy about that one. Got a match on those. Nice. Very nice. Even on Christmas, the trolls don't take a break, guys. 
Isn't that crazy? So unhappy. They must be so unhappy. You gotta find something to be happy about, even if you're miserable. This is Napier, I believe. That's what it looks like. It's super cute, too. Avon. Avon and Napier have like this um, very similar little dangle. I always get them mixed up. That is really pretty. Look at that. Very shiny and cute. Yeah, those chandeliers are really nice. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you, Miss Iris Witch. Appreciate that. Uh, here we got some X's. Very nice condition. Post. Oh, look at this. Hope it's not busted like that other one. This is pretty, but it's got an earring or another chain tangled up with it. Or maybe it goes there. Okay, the chain goes there, but the other thing didn't. Okay. Cute. More of that pink and orange. And even gold. And this one has chains through it, too. That's really pretty. I like that a lot. Cute. Okay, we found this one. The sterling one with the moonstone. That's definitely a moonstone. And then I think that is a... I really think it's spinel or jet. I forget some, and they're definitely sterling hooks on them. So that was a good find, guys. We got our money's worth here for sure. For sure. $29 for the bag. These are nice. Now, if we could find the abalone, I'd be really happy. I got some rose quartz in there, too. That's definitely rose quartz. Ooh, cute, cute dichroic glass pendant. Look at that pretty design inside and that black heart. And then that's kind of a baby pink with little gold specks. That's sweet. That's real leather too. It's not bad. Not bad at all. Cute. Yeah, there's a lot of cool stuff in here. Very cool. All right. Then we have black, kind of tangled up. But when this happens, what I usually do is hang it for a while. I'll like wash it and then hang it. Honestly, it works. It takes out the wrinkles. And if it's one, sometimes I even put like a heavy pendant on it just to weigh it down a little bit or maybe hang some earrings all around. Because this is so cute. But it happens. I don't know if it's because they're strung so tightly together. And then when they store them in a bag like this or wherever they get messed up these are pretty beads too though they really are so that's a nice piece oh these are nice i thought they almost look like those silver ones these are gold tone though these are super cute all right and here's some 80s earrings, I think. Here is a rosary piece. I don't think it's sterling, but it could be. It has the Pope on it. No, I don't see anything marked sterling. It's just the piece of the rosary there. Expandable. No biggie here. Another Chico's probably, or a wannabe. Just a little silver animal print there. Jesus is the reason for the season. That's a nice pen. Very pretty. I like that. Okay, we did get a match on these. Remember these? Kind of exotic looking as well. And oh, we got some dream catchers. I keep dropping things. Have you guys found any interesting jewelry lately? 
haven't even looked in the counters lately. Been so busy looking for holiday things. These are pretty. A B drops, big hooks. Those are pretty. And oh my goodness, what is that? It's like some kind of carving on the back on this earring. Some hoops. What's in here and why is it wrapped? Let's see what this is. Hmm, this looks like an M&M. &M. Why would they wrap this? <laughs> this is kind of cute, though. It's got a face on it. <laughs> That's hilarious. It's just crazy. All right, I found it. Amen. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Oh, my goodness. This is so cool. Look at these beautiful abalone, guys. They're carved like shells. I love them. Oh, those are cute. And the color of the abalone is amazing purples and blues these are gorgeous yes oh i'm so happy i found these these are so so cute and it's just the shell oh oh my goodness yep yeah, just the shell glued in the back with a little post how pretty are those Oh my gosh, I'm so happy about those. Put these over here so I don't mix them up with the other ones again. Cute. Cute, cute, cute. Lots of other random chandeliers in here. Some crazy posts. Oh, that Betsy Johnson was really cute too. This is pretty. This is just silver tone. To get a match on the X's. What else is here? A silver, bronze, brutalist looking thing with lots of strands and chains. This reminds me of a Christmas Carol. Dickens, A Christmas Carol. I've been binging on that movie too. But I do love the old versions, guys. But if you haven't seen the Muppet version, you're missing out. You must see the the Muppet version. It's our favorite. That is definitely another must see for us for the for the kids or my, well, they're not kids anymore. But I hope they turn their kids on to that too. <laughs> but they still watch it. They own I don't know how many copies of it. So please watch the Muppets, the Hanson's Muppets, A Christmas Carol. It's so amazing. It really, really is beautiful. I love that movie. And that's what that reminds me of. <laughs> One of the ghosts. These are cute, guys. Look at these. They're matched too. That and, uh, of course, the Charlie Brown Christmas are two Christmas movies that I adore. And we do watch Christmas Vacation too. Uh, usually when everyone's here, we have it just playing in the background. One of the houses we saw last year, guys, in, I think it was in my sister's neighborhood, they were actually streaming... Uh, National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation and a big screen on the outside. It was so fabulous. We just we could not believe it, but it looks so cute. Of course, everything else was all decked out and beautiful, but that's one of the things they added. It was crazy. All right, I think I found the match to this one, which is so cute too. I love this one. Yeah, that is cute. Okay, lots of, I think most of these really do have, oh, we have a picture, cameo of Jesus in a straight pin, kind of enameled. These are cute, kind of a fake coral there, but pretty, little chunks. A little scrappy stuff too, guys. Some crafty things were in here as well. Uh, these earrings were matched. Very lightweight. What's your favorite movie, guys, or do you like uh, Christmas movies? Speaking of Christmas movies, when I walked into that Hallmark, they had uh, 
all of their collection of their Hallmark Christmas. You can buy them all together in bulk. Then they had a lot of shirts that said, this is my Hallmark Christmas watching t-shirt. and This is my Hallmark slipper, Hallmark Christmas movie watching slippers, all of that. And I don't really, I really haven't gotten into the Hallmark movies. I don't know why. My sister is, and, and occasionally I find my husband watching some of them, not even Christmas, just regular Hallmark movies. He likes them. But I really haven't gotten into any TV watching that much. I do mostly YouTube. Here's a very nice shell, guys. Look at this earring. It's a post, too, so that's nice. This is more of a mother of pearl, and it's kind of on the golden side. Merry Christmas, Kathy. Thanks for being here, Miss Phillips. I hope you have a wonderful Christmas. Okay, here's another big fat 80s thing. Here is a little red dress pin. What else do we have? Oh, these are pretty. These almost look like sterling too. Gosh, I keep dropping them. They're uh, beads, drops. Elf. Oh, I love Elf too. That one I do like. And I saw that one in the theater. I just kind of, I don't know what it is. Maybe I just like watching them in theaters. But I do, like I said, the one that I love to watch over and over again. I never get tired of it. And I always find something funny in it. And of course, heart wrenching is the Muppets Christmas Carol. It's just amazing. This is a really nice dream catcher earring, guys. But I think it would be so much nicer as a pendant because it's heavy. It's really heavy. I don't know how someone could wear them as an earring. So you make a nice pendant. But it might have a match, too. I don't know. I haven't found it yet. We've got the crosses matched up, the little turquoise ones. Those are cute. Let me see if there's anything else in here. Oh, here's some coins or something, some kind of discs as well. We did get these matched up, which is good. These purple crystal looking things. That's tangled up in there, but we got that matched up, so that's good. The Muppets too. Good, good. I'm glad there's someone else out there who understands. I'm telling you, my daughters are, they, they must watch it like all month. It's just amazing. And there was a big write-up about it the other day on Reddit or somewhere about how it's been voted one of the best versions of the movie, the book, or whatever, the adaptation to the to the screen. But and of course, reading the book is there's no exception to that. There's no comparison to the book, of course. But um, yeah, those are great movies. That's what I've been. Okay, this is tangled, but so cute. I love all of these. I think this one may be broken, but it's got uh, it's got rhinestones, it's got beads, it's even got little charms like stars and hearts. I'm gonna put that in my husband's fix it pile because this is really cute. Oh, really? Okay, I need to do that then. I think I'm gonna start watching the Hallmark movies. I'm missing out. I'm missing out for sure. Oh, this is oh, okay. This is the rose quartz thing that I saw. This is cute. It's on an illusion. Oh, it's got a lot of different stones. It's got an illusion chain. It's even got like a bugle bead in here that looks like, no, oh, spacers. Okay. Stations. Right? There it goes. Okay. Lots of pretty beads. You do? Yeah. Yeah. My husband does watch those Hallmark movies all the time. Not just at Christmas. I don't think he's watched any Christmas. Lately, I've been hearing a lot of noise from when he watches his television upstairs. Mostly, you know, noisy car chases and people yelling at each other. And I don't like to watch that kind of stuff, so we don't share a lot of viewing pleasure. <laughs> I have turned him on to a lot of my favorite YouTube people, though, and he does share that with me now. He likes that. <laughs> This is cute, guys. Did you see the stones? I can't tell what they are, except for the rose quartz. This may be carnelian, and I'm not sure what this blue is. Look how pretty that is, though. It's really nice. This is a pretty piece. Let me see if it's not sterling. 
It doesn't look like it. Looks like silver tone. I don't see a mark on the fastener at all. Ooh, look at these. These are cute. Tiger eye. They're very, uh, I don't know, kind of working woman, I think, to me. But they're pretty. They're tiger eye. And then they have a little yellow stone at the top there. And they're door knocker style. Oh, wow. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, they have several copies. They have it on VHS, DVD, Redone. I mean, everything. Here's a cute little post with a crystal or a CZ of sorts. Really cute. Here's another Christmas little bling. Red and green. Cute. Don't think we have a match to that, though. We did get a match to these beads, which I think are sterling. We'll have to test them. Those are pretty. Very nice. Some of these are definitely going to be crafter pieces. They're missing stones and things. And let me see. A little rose. This almost looks like sterling, too. Oh, silver tone. A little rose there. Oh, my gosh. This is a hair clip? That is the teeniest thing ever. And I need one of these for one of those Christmas ornaments that I got that doesn't work because the little button fell off. That might be able to work. That might suffice. We'll see. And I was thinking, do I have any of those? I, don't, I didn't think I did. Ooh, this is beautiful. This is like a suspended crystal or CZ in there. Look how sparkly that is. That is so pretty. It's gold tone. I hope I find the other one to this one too. There's just so, this is all like earrings, guys. Oh, look at this. This is another JJ Angel, but this one's in copper. That's cute. So I found the silver or pewter one. And now here's a copper one. And it's made the same way that he put like a piece of paper there or something, or whoever put it away. It's like a piece of paper, but it's the same exact angel. So cute. That's nice to have. I can have like a little scatter pin thing going on. Cute. Okay, more Christmas. Christmas tree earring. That's cute. Oh, my gosh. There's three of them, guys. Oh, that's a good deal then. Sorry about that. All right. Now we have it in bronze. So this is a perfect scatter pin. Thing we have bronze, we have pewter, and then the brass no, copper, brass, and the pewter. Three of these from JJ Angels, they're so cute. Oh, thank you so much, Miss Price. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah, all of these are JJ. They're so cute, guys. I'm super happy with these. I got to find the silver one now. Put it somewhere. But it's so tiny, I can't see it. But these are the bronze and copper. Cute. Very cute. This one's nice. This one looks interesting. Gold color. Pretty stones in here. This is a very interesting gold color. Almost looks like 18 karat. These actually look like real stones. The diamonds don't look real to me, but the others do. I don't know. I'll let you take a look at it. It's just one, though, but it's cute. Little tiny post. Oh, thank you, Sanja. I appreciate it. A little best friend children's jewelry for um, it's a whale I meant we did get some vintage pieces I don't know if I showed you this one so we did get a match on that one that's really pretty it's a post I still think it's vintage and we did get a match on the other shell I believe 
Christmas trees. Oh, look, this one's cute. Candy cane in gold and silver tone. Two-tone there. That's cute. I love these. I think these are cute. I hope I find the match to that one. But I'm glad I found the abalone ones. Those were cute. I got that frozen thing for my granddaughter. That's pretty. The rest of these earrings are kind they're okay, but it's nice if I can match them up. You know, some of them are super cute, like these. The little X's in gold. I like them. Oh, here's a chain. It looks like Claire's quality or something. Just little daisies and things. I'm not that impressed with that one. Let me see what else is in here. Lots of 80s earrings, too. And lots of things that are like broken, but we use them to harvest the stones or I put them in craft lots. These are pretty, really pretty gold tone. They are clipped though, but they're a nice chandelier. I love chandelier earrings. Very cute. And all of the boy, I was at James Avery yesterday, guys. Whoo, I could not believe the prices. Now I know why people flock to them online i could not believe the prices they've gone up quite a bit and uh, i mean just plain bands and eighty dollars ninety dollars mm. there's not even anything on them and then of course the and i love them they, you know they're made very beautifully and everything but wow anything with the enamel is like ninety dollars any charm with an with an enamel thing on them they're doing that little red truck that you see everywhere with the tree in the back. I would love to have a Christmas themed charm bracelet, but so would one of my daughters, and I'd probably buy it for her before I buy it for me. But I do love them. Okay, this is some kind of a safety pin thingy. So, yeah, that's where I went yesterday. Ooh, this is pretty, guys. These are real pearls. It's a pendant. Let's look and see what this is. It doesn't look like silver tone, but these are, I mean, it doesn't look like sterling. It looks like silver tone with a crystal. But it could be sterling. A lot of times the sterling, when they polish it up, it gets that pitting, right? When they Or when they coat it with something else. This is purple, and then there's like a crystal in there. And this is a pendant with a hidden veil. This is really pretty. And it's definitely real pearls. I like that a lot. So it could be like rhodium plating or something over it, and I can't really tell. But I don't see anything on there right now. Merry Christmas, Linda. Thank you for stopping by. We're getting ready to shut it down here, too. But I am going to give away the brooch I'm wearing, the little Christmas brooch. I wanted to do a giveaway today for Christmas and all of that. And like I said, my husband just fixed this one. The mirror was messed up. It had fallen off, and I had wanted to put it for sale, but he just finally got it back to me it's super cute so I think we'll do that now I really like this a lot okay see it has a real mirror which is kind of unusual for jewelry and um, if I see anything else you know I'll show it to you and I, I was hoping to find this one too this is such a cute earring this red one it may show up there's such a mess here with a bunch of little earrings so I'll keep looking through here, but I'm not going to hold you up anymore. Oh, we found a little candy cane match, too. I'm glad a lot of these are definitely matched. Found the other chandelier in gold. I'm going to give you a quick trivia question about me or about what we just discussed. So if you weren't here earlier, it's okay. Take a wild guess. You may just win. Oh, we found some red and green earrings. I'll put these on. I'll put these on. One of them fell off anyway. So if you guys are ready for a trivia question and they're hook on, they look like they haven't been worn because they have, still have that little back thing there. There we go. We got Christmas stuff on. All right. Are you guys ready? You had to make a call. Your daughter's in the Philippines. Well, thank goodness she's called you to the tree. Oh, good, Kathy. Well, I'm going to get started baking and I'm going to go to the post office. I'm going to warm up the oven while I go to the post office. It's just down the street. And then I'll come back, get my husband to watch my baking while I go to the Salvation Army. 
to see if I missed anything I must have. All right, we're going to give away this beautiful little brooch. I don't see a mark on it, but it sure is cute. It's humongous right there. If you can tell me quickly, anyone who wants to guess and join, and I, again, will put, usually my email is listed on the videos. If it isn't, I'll add it shortly. And you just send me your email, your physical address if you win so that I can mail it to you, okay? All right, I was talking about all things Christmas when we opened up and we were discussing trying to get you guys to tell me about your Christmases and all that. But I mentioned um, <laughs> I mentioned hi cinnamon Tyson. Oh, good. Merry Christmas. Thank you so much for being here. I mentioned a uh, beverage of choice for me at brunch time, at Christmas time, anytime really. And uh, what was it? If you can tell me you win this brooch. Hey, Nathan. Merry Christmas. We're giving away a Christmas brooch today just for fun. We opened a jar. It was $29. We found some good stuff. I found some beautiful abalone earrings. I found some... Um, what else did I find? Oh, some sterling earrings. Quite a few things. Quite a few nice things. Interesting prayer beads and everything. Oh, some turquoise. I found the um, vintage turquoise and coral necklace. This has to be, I think, the find of the day. I really love this. And by the way, guys, just a little bolo. People are into these, the teenagers, the young people today. They're buying the old puka shells from the 70s and this type of stuff. So list it. All right, so it was definitely Bloody Mary's. Absolutely. I mentioned a place, a little pub place, brunch pub thing <laughs> in Chicago. And as far as I see, it looks like Ditsy Blonde was the first one to got it, get it right. So thank you so much for participating, everyone. I really do appreciate it. Have a wonderful Christmas. I won't see you tomorrow, but I'll probably see you shortly thereafter. And uh, we'll do another video. We'll do more giveaways. We always do. I don't announce them very often because I want people to come in and watch the videos for video's sake. But uh, thank you so much, Ditsy Blonde. Be sure and email me at thelmahords at gmail.com. I will list it in the description if it's not listed already. And uh, just give me your real name and your physical address, and I'll send this cute little brooch out to you. I think you'll really love it. I'll be sure and wrap it really well because that is a real mirror in there. Thank you again, guys. Merry Christmas. Oh, you want me to give it to Jude? Okay. All right. I'll do that. I'll do that. Jude is a big, big brooch collector. So I'll definitely send it out to you, Miss Jude. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. What a wonderful gesture. Thank you. That's what I love about you guys. You're all so sweet and generous and thoughtful. And I love doing what I do here. I hope you enjoy it. Give it a thumbs up on the way out. Subscribe if you haven't. And I'll see you soon. Bye-bye. Merry Christmas.